Hello, my name is Jacob Bennett. I'm a student at West Virginia University and a member of Professor Zagri's Watershed Management class. Today, I will be talking to you about geomorphology, or the effects of water on the landscape. Using this model, I will help explain two different topics. The first being watersheds. The second how to divide watersheds up into three different river zonings. First looking at watersheds, it's easier to look at it like a sink. A sink is defined by its very high walls that allow water to catch that water into a basin and flow it to a drain. We will call these lines around our quote unquote sink our drainage divides. These are defined by our topography and the high points that are connected to make this drainage divide or the top of our sink. As you can see here, we have the low example model showing how a water drainage divide splits two different watersheds. Water over here will drain this way perpendicularly down a slope path of least resistance which is defined by perpendicular along contours of this topography. So this drainage divide will split these two different watersheds. So our watershed is defined by this high line, as you can see here. Moving on, we can divide this watershed into three different zones. The first zone is called our headwaters. This zone is characterized by a steep banks, a large amount of streams, and the pickup of material and a lot of energy that comes from these steep banks picking up this material and moving it. Moving on, that headwater streams flow into the transfer zone. This transfer zone is best characterized by your typical river and it's somewhat flat topography as compared to the headwaters. As you can see here, this transfer zone basically just transfers the energy and the material picked up from the headwaters and carries us further down towards our drain of our sink. Finally, this transfer zone flows into our deposition zone. This deposition zone is very flat and therefore it begins to wind as it finds minor changes in the topography. This deposition zone will lose energy and drop the material into quote unquote the sink. <laughs>